This is horrible and I think I would have to put a trigger warning on this one. By now you all know that Mr. Peter Wanchuku, the husband to the late Osinachi who is under fire for domestically abusing his wife to death, has officially been arrested. That is good news but as good a news as that is, nothing can prepare you for the details of horror that this woman Osinachi Wanchuku suffered in the hands of her husband. I mean, before now, we have heard how he treated her, we've heard how he beat her, we've heard how he sabotages her music career, how he's rude to bookers, and how he even prevents her from performing. We've also heard how he embarrasses her in public and insults her for everybody to see. However, when the children of the late Osinachi were visited, they gave extra graphic information as to how their father mistreats their mother. And I must tell you, it's horrible. It's disgusting and it's just a pure shame. Before we go into that details, I want to say this because I know that a lot of women who are currently in abusive relationships and marriages will be watching these and trying to compare their situation with hers. Some women will be going, oh, my own is better. My husband don't beat me every day. Oh, my own is better. At least my husband gives me food. Oh, my own is better. My husband only uses belt. He does not kick me on my chest. This is what a lot of people do to make themselves feel better about their situation. They make excuses for it. They try to compare their situation with other people's situation to give themselves more reason why they should stay. So let me just say this, if you are currently in an abusive relationship and you are trying to use this woman's story to feel good about your situation, you are only deceiving yourself. It's the same thing. Domestic abuse is domestic abuse regardless of the details. Now let's talk about what his children are revealing to the public about their father. From what I gathered, she has three sons and one daughter. Now according to the sons, according to the children, their father told them that it's okay to beat women. As if that is not enough, they record instances where the father will be beating their mother and he would ask the children to join in beating her. The details even go on to claim that he would hold the woman down, that is, he would hold Osinachi down and tell the children to stomp on her. This man has brainwashed the kids into thinking that it's necessary and important to beat women. These boys were being trained to think that domestic violence is okay and to think the man had a little girl. What would this girl be thinking when his mother is being beaten and the father is telling the kids, the boys, that it's okay to beat women? This girl too would have grown up to think it's okay for her husband to place his hands on her. You see how domestic abuse turned into a cycle? While the boys would be growing up thinking it's okay to hit their wives, the little girl is growing up thinking it's okay for her husband to beat her. Luckily for these children, they have a chance to fix their mentality. They have a chance to change their views. And I'm glad they too are also disgusted by it. It was said when they were speaking, they too were irritated by what their father had to make them do. Now it's unclear if they actually joined in beating their mother, but it was said that the father usually holds the mother down and tells the children to stomp on her and beat her too. Now, apart from the beatings, apart from the physical hitting of this woman, this man mentally tortured the wife and the children. According to the children, the husband, Mr. Peter, seized two of the woman's vehicles. He seized her two cars, cars that were gifted to her by fans. This man seized it and he would tell her to jump bikes to wherever she wants to go to. This woman had two cars, but she wasn't allowed to drive them. She wasn't allowed to ride in her own vehicle. That's not even the worst part of these details. The children revealed that there are times that they will all go to church. Maybe the mom would do something annoying to the husband and the husband would tell the woman that she's not going to ride in the vehicle with them. The kids recalled that sometimes they would enter the vehicle with their dad driving to church and along the way they would see their mom struggling to enter a bike or a taxi to the same location that they are going to. What? The kids even said that they would wave at their mom, seeing their mom jumping bikes to go back home. And when she comes home, he would still beat her again for whatever reason that made him angry in the first place. These are just the things the children saw. The kids are only saying the ones that they saw. And in as much as the things that they saw is so much, I can't imagine what it's like being in the same bedroom with this beast. No, imagine what her life would be inside the same bedroom with him, with the doors closed. If this man can mistreat this woman in public, in church, in front of the kids, in front of her fans, imagine what he does to her inside their room. 
I know damn well it's not going to be pleasurable. That's something I'm sure for a fact. Because this beast here needs to be in the cage. This is a wild animal. He would hold his wife down for his kids to stomp on her and kick her. He would make his children do that to their mother. And then seize her vehicle and tell her to jump bikes. There was even a part when the kids said that at a time when the woman was kicked out of their vehicle, like they were driving home from a church at the time. I'm not sure if she had just finished ministering, but the child said on their way back, their father kicked the mother out of the vehicle, kicked her out while the vehicle was moving or something, and that she got robbed. Armed robbers robbed her phones and her money, and they also beat her on the road. The children even say that they were surprised as to how their mother made it back home alive that she was beaten and robbed of her money and her phones after their father kicked her out of the vehicle her own vehicle wow what kind of church preaching what kind of religion what kind of society makes you stay in that kind of marriage and the fact that these children got to see this happen to their mother is just another level of trauma i don't like to attack people on their looks but i think this guy has earned it because he looks like a monster if you squint he looks like shrek along with the donkey he looks like the two that is if you squint in as much as that comparison is an insult to the animation i apologize to shrek and the entire disney for comparing such a despicable human being to a beloved cartoon character so for now he's currently in the police station answering questions regarding the rumors going around his involvement in the death of his wife this man is going to go to prison, this man is going to go to jail, Osinachi is loved and beloved, she is popular and everybody cannot be lying because nobody has come out to speak for him. Even his children are happy that he has been arrested, they said so, because he beats them too, he maltreats them too, he tortures them too. I can't even imagine their own individual experiences because all they said was what he did to their mother. But yet I can't imagine what each and every one of them have experienced in this man's hand. I can't imagine their own personal stories and their own personal torture and abuse that they had suffered from their father. That would be a story I would like to hear because I can't imagine it. But they are happy that their father has been arrested. They are so delighted. Even the sisters said that they were so willing to go to their grandmother's side from um, Osinachi's line. When Osinachi's brother went to see them, they were happy. They were so happy to see um, family from their mother's side. It is clear that from their mother's side, they get more love despite the fact that their father always hold them back to go and see them and visit them in Enugu. But these children are willing and more than happy to spend time with their grandmother. That is Osinashi's mother. My only prayer and my only wish is that more women out there sit back and take a moment to evaluate their own relationship, to evaluate their own marriage. I pray more women learn from this because it's too late for her to leave the marriage now because she's gone. But if you are alive today and you are currently in an abusive relationship or marriage where your partner derives pleasure and finds it easy to hit you and beat you and mistreat you and embarrass you, just know it's not too late to leave. Leave. Just leave. It's better to sleep under the bridge than to sleep inside the casket. And for those women who are comparing their own situation to her, using her own to catch up, using her own to tell yourself that, oh, mine is really not that bad, as an excuse to remain there, it's just a matter of time. And all it takes is just that one fight. And they are kicking you to your chest or kicking you at the very wrong place. Don't for one second think that just because hers is this bad, your own situation is any better because i am damn sure i am very sure that there are women currently in abusive relationships looking at their own situation to make themselves feel better about their own condition and that is sad and that is unfortunate it is it's very unfortunate just look at him just look at him god have mercy and i also pray the kids get the help they need it's unfortunate that they've lost the mother and now they're going to lose the father and since the mother was the breadwinner since the mother was the one bringing in the money i mean if the woman had left with her children on her own by herself with her talent with her gifts she would have been able to train all these children up to their university level even after that this woman is a powerhouse she is the whole package of talent when you hear god's gift this is what God's gift looks like. It's just unfortunate her flaws took the best of her. Her voice, talent, and faith would have been able to take care of these children very well. But now that can't happen because she is gone and their deadbeat father is going too. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on these details. And do you think that there could be more things that these children had seen that they are not speaking out? Do you think that this woman could have suffered way more than is being reported? Let me know what you think.